What's good, YouTube? It's your boy, Hunter Howard Jane. I'm back with another YouTube video. And today, I'm going to be doing the top five defensive recruits for Oklahoma in the class of 2022. I was supposed to been doing this video, but I've been having other stuff go on, and I've just been doing regular recruit videos. But I'm finally getting to this, and I'm happy to do it, man. But first up, first up we're going to be doing what I'm going to do. My honorable mention is Jamarian Burt. It hurts me to do it, put him as an honorable mention because he's my favorite player in this whole class for Oklahoma. I can't cap. I really like him more than any other player. I'm not saying he's the best, but his play style, I love it because he played DB as well, which I played in high school. So that's why I'm a big fan. And bro is one of the hardest hitters in this whole class of 2022, not just Oklahoma, the whole class. So that's why it hurts me to leave him off of it. But it's for good reason, though, man. The five I have ahead of them, they they decent. Well, I ain't, they ain't decent. They good. They legit. But let's get straight into it, though. At number five, we got Cedric Roberts. The reason why I got Cedric at number five is because he's probably the most underrated player in Oklahoma's whole class. And I'm not saying probably he is. I think, well, no, nah, I'm going to say probably because Jamarian Bird is very underrated as well. I feel like both guys are very underrated. Like, I feel like they could be way higher. But this dude definitely really underrated because bro is like, he looks like he's 6'5" in the highlights but he listed at 6'3 but I'm sure he's about 6'5 now bro like look at the size on him bro and he was just creating havoc you seeing it right now look at him in the backfield almost every time and look how just throwing people y'all see why he was the most underrated player I still feel like he won I feel like he gotta be top 10 underrated player in this whole class I don't feel like you gonna find too many more players who much underrated than he is when I first watched him, bro, make sure y'all go check that video out, bro. You gonna see what I'm talking about. You seeing it right here. Dude is just dominant, man. He a dominant defensive lineman. I honestly don't know if he'll be better at defensive tackle or defensive end, but bro, definitely underrated. I had to put him in the top five. He's the person who beat out Jamarian Burt, and y'all see why, man. I was gonna be um, biased and put Jamarian over him, but I was like, nah, Cedric is very underrated. He He's elite as well, man. He might be my second favorite player in this whole class. I, I ain't gonna lie. I'm a fan of the underdog. And that's what they is. Him and Jamarian is underdogs, man. Them boys some dogs, man. I feel like they should be way high ranked. I think he ranked like 400 or 500 or something like that. I feel like he can be in the top 300, bro. That's how good they look to me. You know what I mean? So, I had to put bro in my top five, man. I just had to. At number four, we got Kobe McKenzie. Now, Kobe McKenzie is number four, and it, for good reasons as well. Look at him. Look how big he is. That is a linebacker right there. That's not a defensive end. That is a linebacker. And look how big that boy is, bro. That's a scary sight, man. That dude is a scary sight for a linebacker. That is a scary sight. That is a big dude, man. I just don't see how he couldn't be on this list, man. And he's one. I think he's the fourth ranked. Well, I think he's the third-ranked defensive player. But if you want to include athletes, I think he's fourth. But he had to make the list for me. Bro is elite linebacker. It just how you going to run against this dude. Like, I don't feel like how you going to, even as a freshman, I feel like he's going to scare a lot of running backs. <laughs> Bro is going to put fear in a lot of running backs. One thing I could say is his coverage. I don't know how the coverage going to look. I don't know how fast he really is, you know. But, um... Bro, definitely a good run stopper, man. Look at him, forcing fumbles. <laughs> it's going to be so hard to run against him, man. He, I think he's a full-on run-stopping linebacker just because how big he is, bro. I wouldn't want to run against him. If I was a running back, I'm not running. I'm not running no one near him. I'm not, bro. Well, I some of this Gatorade, but yeah, y'all let me know, man. Y'all let me know. Would y'all run towards him? I'm staying away. I'm sorry. Look at him. <laughs> it's tough. At number three, we got Jaren Kanick. Kanak, however you say it. <laughs> I always mess up with the last name. Now, the reason why Jaren made it, um, the reason why he made my list as a defensive player and not an offensive player is because a lot of y'all was telling me he's going to play linebacker in college. I actually thought he should play running back. Look at bro. A lot of people saying the competition probably is not all that good. I don't care, bro. Look what he's doing. He's still doing it, though. I wasn't doing this. Like, you can tell the difference between... Like, yeah, the competition might not be modern day every time, but, like, everybody's not doing that, though. You feel me? But 
I feel like he should play running back. Uh, I think he actually played quarterback in high school. That's what they were saying too. So I thought he was a running back, but bro is is good, bro. He big as hell too. He so he had to make this league also because he's a fan favorite as well. Who he got the biggest like he got the most view. The, my reaction to him is the most viewed on my channel by a lot. It's up there in the 40s, 40k. It might be, it might be even 50k now, but I think it's 45 somewhere around there. But I see why everybody like him, man. Like, bro is just elite, bro. He just, he basically remind me like you know Chris McCaffrey. They just not. I'm not saying like the style he remind me of um Chris McCaffrey, but it's like the swag. You know what I mean? They give off a different swag. I don't know if I don't know if that go over a lot of y'all head, but they just got swagger to them, bro. Like, I, um, they likable players, so I see why a lot of people like them, though. I'm definitely ready to see these boys on the field, man. All of them, even the players I, I haven't put in my top five for the offense and defense. I'm just ready to see how Oklahoma do this year. I'm gonna be watching the spring game. I can't go to it because I'm in Texas. How I'm gonna get the? I mean, I could get there, but like. I ain't gonna go, man. I'm gonna try to go to Texas and them. So hopefully, I can get there. But yeah, Jaren is different, man. Watch him. Uh, come here. It's easy. At number two, we got Robert Spears Jennings. Bro, 6'1. He had to get on the list. It's been a minute since I reacted to him, though. So these highlights are gonna kind of be refreshing to me. I watched this. I watched him a pretty. It, it feel like it's been a minute since I watched him, but I remember him being a pretty good corner, man. For some reason, they got him listed at off. I mean, wide receiver on the website thing, but bro, a cornerback. Look at him making tackles. For oh, he forced the fumble. Like I love players who get them sneaky fumbles because that's what I did in high school. I got them like sneaky fumbles. Like I used to go and try to just take it from from whoever had the ball. I wasn't just hitting somebody and not knocking it out. I wasn't one of them. I was one of them sneaky ones. I run up on you and I don't even go for the tackle. I just try to grab a ball and just take it from you. But yeah, this is for fresh, like um, refreshing to me. So I can't even just give you like my whole description on Roberts because it's been a minute since I watched him, man. But he's the only one. Like the rest of the three, you see, I was talking like because I actually remember their highlights. Like I really remember them. Not that his highlights not remember, I mean memorable, but like it's been a minute since I watched him. You know, like I remember Gentry. I already, I already said it, but Gentry Williams is gonna be number one. But I remember his highlights very well as well. So he's the only one that I don't remember that much. So it's some people probably gonna be like, so why he's in the top five? You don't really remember him like that. But I do remember him being really good. You know what I mean? I do remember him being placed well, ranked well, exactly where I feel like he should be ranked. You know what I mean? The rest of them, I feel like you can say they was underrated. That's the difference. But I think this dude deserves to be ranked as a four star. Cause look what he doing. This feel like a whole, I'm just reacting to him for a second time, brand new. But it's good, it's refreshing. And last but not least, we got Gentry Williams. It was pretty easy for me to put him at number one because I feel like bro should be a five-star player. And I think he was when I first reacted to him. The first first time I reacted to him, he was a five-star. But they moved him down because I guess he got injured. That's what a lot of y'all told me. Look at the speed. You see why he's number one, man. But yeah, he's the number one rated player in this class. And I feel like that's perfect. That's what he should be. But I feel like overall in the whole class, he should be ranked even higher, bro. When I first got, um, reacted to dude, he was the player. Because I used to talk about the type of players that I like. He fit that exact style, man. He can play corner. He can play safety. He can play offense. So first, he's an athlete. He's really an athlete. I think he might he actually listed as that. He used to be listed as that, I think. But I think he listed that cornerback now. But bro is elite, man. That's it's just a different talent when I um, watch him. I feel like he's going to be one of the players who's going to go in the first round in a few years. But whenever it's time for him to go pro, bro is, is good DB, man. He can cover in the slot, can cover on the outside. Bro, fast as hell. So hopefully that injury, I don't know what kind of injury it is. I don't know if it's an ACL or a meniscus or something. I don't know. I ain't going to say what it is because I don't know. But hopefully he return and play at the same skill level, if not even better than what he is. You know what I mean? Because 
when I first reacted to him, he instantly became my favorite player at that moment. But I've watched so many more players. It's kind of hard for me to say who's definitively my favorite player in this class, but he's definitely in that list for players. You got Kevin Coleman and players like that, Travis Hunter and all them, but he definitely instantly became my favorite player when I first reacted to him. And even when I reacted to him the second time, which I think it was these highlights, bro was just different, man. Like, this, I hope he get a lot of playing time as a freshman. I hope he come in and take somebody's spot. I don't know. Who's the starters for oh, like who's the starters for OU and them? But I hope he come in and take over, man. Even if he coming off injury, I hope unless he unless he got injured this year and he got to take a year off, then I don't know. Like I don't know the injury. I really need to look into it because I read like bro and I want to see um how his career goes. But that's gonna be it for the video though, man. Um, you can't go wrong with a lot of these players, man. You got, I didn't put Kip Lewis in here. I didn't put Grayson Halton in here. Who else? Keep Vontae Hendry. See, R. Mason Thomas, bro. Like, it's so many underrated players in OU's class. Like, if you go watch my reactions, you will see what I'm talking about, bro. Even Alton Tabber. It's some very unique players in this class, man. I feel like I can't really say because only other class I know is Texas a and and with Texas a and they just have a lot of elite talent. Like, they have a lot of, basically, a lot of Gentry Williams and Gavin Sarchuk. They got a lot of those players, so that's why you can't really compare it because they really top-heavy at Texas a and We got um, some underrated recruits as well, but we got that's the reason why it's the greatest class of all time on paper because we got a lot of top-heavy players. We got Walter Nolan, Steven, I said Steven, Shamar Stewart. Anthony Lucas, um, who was Evan Stewart, um, Denver Harris, Evan, um, not Evan, um, what's his name? Can't think of his name. Chris Marshall, that's who. And that's not even counting the rest of them boys. It's a, it's a lot. Um, Gabriel, Brandlow, Dendy, like it's a lot of players who five stars. That's why it's hard to compare the two because they just really top heavy. But yeah, man, this is a good class, and that's gonna be it for the video. And I'm gonna catch y'all next time.